Okay, so here we have the TP-Link AV200 Nano Power Line Adapter Starter Kit. Now, basically this is a really cool way if you are on a wireless system in your home for whatever reason. My reason is we're on wireless because the house was built in the early 90s, so Ethernet was not really used because cable and high-speed internet wasn't really a thing in the early 90s. So we have this house that isn't wired for it, so of course we use wireless throughout the house. But wireless does have limitations, especially when you're using like the default modem that comes with your internet provider, all that kind of stuff. We don't use that, but we use one similar. So it, the, our speeds on average were around like 9, maybe 11 megabytes a second on a good day. And this was, honestly, I, I, I heard about this product and I was like, well, this makes no sense. It's still wireless, right? So essentially the product is you hook up these two little adapters that go directly into your wall outlet. And that's important. It can't go into like a surge protector or any secondary outlet. It goes straight into the wall. And uh, it just has two little buttons. They pair up with each other. You put the Ethernet cable into one on one side like it is in my house right here. And you put the other Ethernet cable and other wall adapter near your computer, television, whatever you're trying to hook up to this stuff. There's my wife actually pushing the pair button. You push the pair button. They pair up with each other after about a minute or so. And then all of a sudden you have very very fast internet speeds and you're about to see in about I'd say 30 seconds or so the various tests. The first test will be just over the wireless and what it looks like. Alright so we're here on speedtest.net they've got the updated beta system but it works the same as it always has. So we're going to start connecting the ping at point at 8 that's pretty normal and right here this is without the wired the quote unquote wire transaction and it's pretty slow four to five i think it maxes out maybe nine from my memory of this but it's pretty low con even considering my internet speed so it was a busy day at that point so six megabytes a second nothing too impressive at all about that and we're not paying for the super high and fast like one gigabyte service that's available out here it's pretty slow but it does the job streams what it needs to stream but sometimes things slow down it's not always hd that kind of stuff sometimes voodoo or netflix or whatever is just not going and here's a second version of the test and again this is all over the wireless so this is kind of to be expected you're not going to get super fast internet speeds for things like gaming on a heavy level or if you want to stream everything in 1080p so I think on this test you get maybe up to a total of like maybe eight or nine megabytes per second still sta pretty standard for basic wireless router modems but that's about it so and again my my router and modem are a single unit And if you want to see the uh, updated test with the actual wired connection, go ahead and skip to 3 minutes and 53 seconds. That's about where it starts. All right, so this is the connection with speedtest.net with the wired power line adapter from TP-Link. So here we go. Already, wow, it's just already triple over, at least. We're getting quadruple the numbers out of this in some cases. It, I got up as high as, as 40 megabytes a second. And for my internet connection, that's not topping it out, but it's getting pretty close to topping it out. Now, it says it can get 200 megabytes a second, but I don't know if that would really be the case i don't think i think it'd be pretty you'd have to have some really fast internet to get that 200 megabytes max out of it so like if you had like the one gig connection or something you probably get there but even it'd be pretty tough what the but this thing i'm gonna call it magic because i'm not an electrician i don't know how it works but you plug these things in the wall and somehow that internet connection 
goes to the circuitry of your house. So if you this will not work if you want to put this out in like your back shop if it's on a different circuit breaker. So this runs the circuitry of your house. It has a range of up to 300 meters, so 900 yards basically is your range. It'll fit in any house as long as you're on the same circuit. So you're seeing these are then the results are consistent. I played games on it. It was no droppage. It was just awesome. And for 25 bucks, I mean, you can't beat this. It's a huge upgrade for your internet. It feels like wireless because you have that versatility. And you can keep on adding on little adapters all through your house where you need them. And I might do a follow-up video basically seeing if there's any loss in performance as time goes on if you add more and more adapters. But I would imagine there wouldn't. that would not be the case. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope you pick this up because it's a really cool option for 25 bucks.